Okay, Steph, 3000 T20 international runs. First of all, how do you feel? Well, um, I feel really good. Um, it's just as, you know, I've, I've done previous interviews and they've asked the question about um, if I knew that I was actually close. No, I had, I had no idea. Um, I'm not really a stats person, so I wouldn't know these things. But yeah, yesterday when it actually you know came up on the big screen, big screen, it was it was such a it was a really good feeling at the time. Okay, but after everyone brought it to your attention, were there any nerves at all surrounding reaching that milestone? Yes, um, I remember you know talking to one of my teammates about it, um, and I said you know I was saying to her that I really don't like when when I'm getting close to a milestone that you know I, I know about it I just like to go about my game um, I just think that it's easier it's less pressure less some less um, one thing I have to you know think about so yeah I don't I don't I don't like to to know about these things okay so would you say no you're relieved that you've reached that milestone Yes, um, but to be honest, like even last night when I was, you know, out there, um, it wasn't, it wasn't in the back of my head, because I, I, to be honest, I, I just didn't remember, which is actually a good thing. Um, it's just until you know, my teammates, you know, started to clap and stuff like that. I was like, oh yeah, I, I forget that I was actually close by, but. But yeah, I um, it wasn't in the back of my head. But I'm I'm happy that it's over right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, only the second player to reach three thousand international T20 runs. How does that feel? Well, <laughs> um, it's a great feeling again, and to see that it's another you know it's it's a female who's actually at front you know in front of me, um, it shows the amount of work that we as female cricketers been doing you know over the years and to see that a lot of people you know have highlighted you know what we have done um, it's a great feeling you know it's always about men's cricket um, so that's actually good that you know they have highlighted you know females who are you know who have done really well in the game did you ever ever see yourself reaching such a milestone before players like um, Virat Kohli or Chris Gill? No, because as I said, I'm not really a stats person. So even even if I was um, probably one run one run to go, I still wouldn't know because I'm not really a stats person. My media manager would argue with me a lot, you know, um, about not knowing my stats and even other persons, but. If it's just not my thing, it's it's not my thing. Um, I find that it's you know it's easier when I'm out there captaining and um, I could calculate who have how many more overs to go versus um, how many runs I have. So um, I guess because I'm not really so much of a stats person when it comes down to me. Earlier you alluded to the work that women have been putting in. Um, more specifically to yourself, can you tell us what, what was probably the biggest influence in becoming the person you are today, the legend that you've become? Um, I would say having good people around, um, people who could critique you and uh, you know make you become the person who you you know who you actually want to become. Um, I guess looking back, you know back in my past I have some really good influences um, and I still do up to this day um, you know to help me along with my game and you know also putting in some work you know fitness and, and gym as well to add to that yeah funny you should bring up the work you put in um, I've heard many people mention your work ethic uh, above everything else and I am one who's very admirable of your work ethic uh, can you tell me tell us a bit about that um, well, it first started when um, I was actually here in England and somehow, you know, I've, you know, I thought to myself that, you know, I've always been eating meat. Um, I'm just tired of eating meat. And I said, you know what, I'm just going to change, um, change it up a bit and eat some fish. Um, 
when there's no fish then I'll eat you know veg or you know prawns or something but I'm just tired of meat and just when I stopped eating meat um, and started doing some exercises people started you know commenting on weight you've lost a lot of weight so I was like no I don't think so but as I you know keep going um, putting in some more work you know going out to exercise like 6 in the morning um, doing my runs and you know coming in and making sure that my nutrition is up then I realized that when I start putting on my jeans <laughs> it's you know it's not the same so I was like oh really um you know I've started to lose some weight and after seeing the changes and stuff like that and it really do feel good on my body um, I just you know continue it and I love running now um, I think it's, it's it's a good it's a good feeling it makes my body feel good so I continue doing it and would you say that's in instrumental in the way you've been performing in the last few years yes um, that has a lot to do with it as well um, I find that when you know, because I'm a lot fitter now my concentration is a lot better um, I, I, I find that my thinking is, is it's different um, so yeah I have to ask this is there any any athlete that you look up to or you try to emulate um, yeah um, that's a good one um, Virat Kohli I remember he did an interview um, and this was just this was just um, not long ago. Um, he did an interview and he said that he, I think it was a World Cup he went to. Can't remember the full interview, but he went to a World Cup. He's just like you know sitting down here, and they they ask him about you know his work and 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 stuff like that. And he said that he went like he went home after a tour, and he looked himself in the mirror. And he was like, nah, he don't, you know, he don't like what he's pretty much seeing. And if he wants to compete with the top players, he has to change the way how he go about things. Meaning that his nutrition, his, his, um, his exercises. And yeah, I was, I, was, I was pleased to, you know, to listen to that because it was pretty much a place where where, where I was um, because I, I was like you know if you really want to compete with you know top athletes like you know Australia um, they take their, their fitness very seriously and the way they go about things um, I definitely see them as you know even Virat emulating I remember seeing that article, I think it was 2016 World Cup that we saw that article when we were in India. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me, I, I know you've played many marvelous innings for West Indies, but what would you, which, which three would you highlight as your best innings? Uh, I would say one, the T20 World Cup the finals um, I, I don't think anything could actually come near that because you know winning that game for a team um, is outstanding and you couldn't have asked for anything better than you know the captain being there and one of the young young players who just burst on the scene you know um, doing good things um, South Africa where I first I think it was my first uh, ODI century we end up win, winning the game as well the third one um, there's so many um, which one can I choose from <laughs> <laughs> um, let's go back to last year's series against India where I needed I think it was six runs to make you know for for another century um, and the reason why I draw back to that is because you know I sat down and you know I had my notes and I was like you know I really need I really need a um, hundred you know it's been forever and seeing that I was just so close she took a good catch and I literally cried because I was like oh you know it's, it's so close to you know what I actually wanted to accomplish um, 
and I believe we actually won that game too. So yeah, I, I remember watching that game from home. It wasn't on that tour, but it was really heartbreaking for me watching you uh, fall short of that hundred. Um, you mentioned you 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 don't w really follow stats, but you did realize that you needed another hundred. Um, that was actually very interesting. Uh, tell me something. Um, have you thought about life after cricket? What what do you intend to do? Be a coach? Yeah, so I I've, I've now been you know thinking about it, seeing that my age is just is my age is going up. Come on, um, Steph, you're still in the twenties. <laughs> yeah, I'm 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 twenty nine, but you just you just never know. Um, you still have to you know plan, just like how you plan your innings, you have to plan life as well. So. I'm pretty much in that stage where I'm thinking about starting, start doing my level level two, level one coaching course, and you know move up from there. Um, I did a broadcasting sports broadcasting course with my fellow teammate Shakira Selman. Um, we both enjoy that, enjoy that um, that course it was it was really nice to see another West Indian um, amongst the group so which one would you say you're leaning more towards broadcasting or coaching um, I would say um, I would start out with coaching first um, I think with the whole broadcasting I still need to do a lot more work um, I feel like the coaching probably is a is when you think about both of them is easier right now um, so I'm leaning to why is that but I'll definitely want to do some commentary well I started off by reminding you how much of a legend you are and I think anyone would be grateful to have Stephanie I, I don't know helping out whether it's coaching or in the broadcast as part of the broadcasting team finally what would you like to see for women's cricket? Right now, I would really like to see or love to see um, some young players coming through. Um, I've spoke about this like plenty of times, even you know, just conversation and in interviews as well. Um, I would really love to see some young players coming through, integrating with. Um, the old folks you know um, <laughs> learning a thing or two um, we need a we, we definitely need a feeder system um, I think that's what we we lack when you look around the world um, especially those two places probably three now you know India Australia and New and, and England has been doing it really good where you have young players coming through the system and then you know when they reach international level is nothing new it's not foreign to them because they have you know a team where um, <clears throat> international teams when they tour they play against them so it's not you know they're not far off so that's what I think that's what I would see in the Caribbean I would love to see that in the Caribbean I, I know you say finally but you just mentioned young players so I have to ask this what advice would you give to a young girl who wants to become the next Stephanie Taylor? Well, and I've asked it plenty times. Um, when I was growing up, um, it wasn't really easy for me, you know, playing with the boys and people think that, you know, you can't play um, and you shouldn't play because, you know, you're a girl or you can't manage. Um, I've seen it happen to probably Rashida Williams as well um, people believe that um, you can't manage but this this is where I basically started playing with the boys and it has made me tough and tougher you know I consistently playing with them um, so I believe that you know follow your dreams if if you see this as a career um, and I believe it is a career that you could pursue. So pursue your dream. Don't let nothing stop you from doing that. Steph, thank you so much for the interview. Um, I look forward to, re to seeing you reach many more milestones. You're, what, seven wickets away from 100 wickets for T20s? I would 
I, I think so. So I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> and you will also be the first person when you when you do reach that milestone in the next few games. I, I hope you will also be the first male or female to reach that milestone. Three thousand T twenty international runs and a hundred international T twenty international wickets. You must be looking forward to that. Well, yes, I'm looking forward to that and also looking forward to the next interview with you. <laughs> <laughs> Steph, continue being the legend that you are. Thank you.